Muhammad Al-Hilal again. Welcome to our English language course. This is lecture number 11. Today we are going to switch to the uh, second part of the course, which is the interaction uh, course book. We are going to deal with a, uh, chapter number three, the chapter entitled, entitled Friends and Family. The article is on page 47. So this is the article we are going to uh, to deal with. There is only one single page, so I'm going to read this article first. We are going then to explain the difficult words. We are going to look at some uh, derivation and look at some general uh, idea of the topic, and then we go and do some practices related to uh, this uh, passage. So basically, this is uh, an article on page 47 entitled, Changing Families. Families in almost every country are changing. This is true in rich countries and poor ones. It is true in Africa, the Americans, the Americas, uh, Asia, and Europe. All over the world, families are getting smaller. In North Africa, in the past, many people lived in extended families. 50 to 100 people lived together in a group of houses. These were all family members grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, children, and grandchildren. But now, this traditional family is breaking into smaller groups. The traditional family in Mexico was also big. One generation ago, the average Mexican woman had seven children. Today, she has an average of only two and a half children. Now, without so many children, families don't need to spend so much money on basics such as food, clothing, and housing. The traditional Japanese family was also an extended family. A son, his parents, his wife, his children, and his unmarried brothers and sisters. Three generations lived together, but this tradition is changing. Now, most families are nuclear families parents and their children, and most Japanese parents have only one or two children. These families have new problems. Many men and women spend a lot of time at work. They don't spend much time together as a family. This can be very difficult. The world is changing, and families are changing too. There are many new types of families, but most seem to be getting smaller. So this is the passage we are going to discuss today. So let's move to the first point. We have some questions about this passage. Now, if we go back to the, fir to the uh, first few lines in the chapter, in the, in the passage, we have this sentence. It says, rich countries and poor ones. So the idea here is that <coughs> the word one is referring back to the word country. So rather than repeating the uh, word countries again, so we don't usually say rich countries and poor countries. So to make this easier or to replace it with, a, with, a, with an easier word, with a, a smaller word, we use the word once to refer to countries. So the question says, what does ones refer to in rich countries and poor ones? So basically, it refers to the word countries. And basically, uh, and instead of saying rich countries and poor countries, we can say rich countries and poor one. So this is basically a replacement for the word country. Rather than repeating it more than one time, we just mention the word once in the plural. We will have some other examples showing this, but this is basically the first example we encounter in the article. So if we go to the article, you will <coughs> uh, notice, for example, that we have mentioned that here. This is true in rich countries and poor ones as you have seen uh, in this uh, paragraph or in this passage. So let's go back to where we were. So uh, basically, in, instead of repeating the word countries again, rich countries and poor countries, again, the word countries refer back to, uh, con to, to the same word. So rather than doing this, we can replace it with uh, a smaller uh, word or an easier word that goes back to, that can basically express the word um, country without mentioning it once more. Another question says, according to the above passage, families are getting better, getting smaller, or staying the same. Now, if we go back, we find that 
the author keeps telling us that families are changing that rather than we have a law a big Mexican family in the past nowadays most families are getting smaller so clearly the answer to this question is that families are getting smaller so this is the correct answer as you can see in different uh, color the main idea of the uh, of the above passage is that in North Africa families are big but in Europe they are small so basically this is not the main idea the author talks about something that is a little bit different families around the world are changing so basically the author more than one time talk about the change in the world change that is affecting families and so on and so forth all families are bigger now than in the past no this is not the actual answer so this is the actual answer to the question families around the world are changing <coughs> next question says the writer thinks that a new families are good because they are small different from families in the past or that families are highly educated different from families in the past where he keeps comparing what happens in North Africa or North America uh, 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 in, uh, according to some Mexican uh, way or traditional families so we have seen that there is differences from families in the past as the passage suggests another question related to the use of uh, pronoun and something that referred to them in the sentence the pronoun he in the following sentence refers to what my grandfather lived with us he is there in the photo on the right now rather than repeating the word my my grandfather again and saying my grandfather lived with us my grandfather is there in the photo we just replace the word my grandfather with the pronoun that refers back to it so the pronoun he in this sentence refers back to my grandfather so we have an option of three my grandfather my grandmother or the photo no it refers to my grandfather of course so rather than repeating the word my grandfather more than one time we can use the pronoun he similarly in a different example the pronoun he in 50 to 100 people live together in a group of houses these these were all family members so the word these refers to what does it refer to the houses does it refer to the 100 to 50 to 100 people clearly it is 50 to 100 people so 50 to 100 people live together in a group of houses 50 to 100 people were all family members so again this word the pronoun these refers back to 50 hundred people so we do not really want to repeat them so it refers to 50 hundred people as you can see in this example okay another similar uh, situation the pronoun she in one generation ago the average Mexican woman so we know that this is a female subject had seven children today she she has an average of 2.5 children so basically the Mexican woman which is referred to in the first sentence is referred to by a pronoun later in a different sentence so instead of repeating the word the Mexican woman or the average Mexican woman we use the pronoun she to refer back to this woman okay so correct answer is the average Mexican woman another similar question what does the pronoun they in many men and women spend a lot of time at work they now here again they do not spend much time together as a family so who does this they refer to does it refer to the uh, the men or women or to the time or to whatever so it does refer to one specific subject in the sentence one specific uh, doer of the action in the sentence which is a clearly uh, it refers to many men and women so instead of repeating the sentence we use a pronoun that refers back to the uh, the expression many men and women 
Okay, so this is again showing us that many men and women spend a lot of time at work. They, who are they? It is many men and women. So instead of repeating many men and women, again, so we use the pronoun they to refer back to this expression. So again, the answer to the question is that the pronoun they refer back to many men and women. Moving on, what does the pronoun this in they do not spend much time together as a family? This can be very difficult. What can be very difficult? What is that is very difficult? So what does the pronoun this in this sentence refer to? It refers to the fact that they do not, sorry, the fact that <coughs> the fact that they do not spend much time together as a family. This fact is represented in the sentence by the use of the pronoun this. Okay, the plural of the word uh, family is families, families or familiarities. So clearly we know that when we have a word that ends with Y and we want to make this word into a plural we look at the letter before the Y if the letter is one of the consonants if it is one of the consonant we delete the Y and replace it with an I then we add ES so the resulting word is going to be family with deleting the Y and uh, basically replacing it with I, then we add ES. So this is not the right answer because they have not deleted the Y. This is totally a different word. This, is, this is, word is familiarities. So this has nothing to do with family. This is the correct answer, which is the word families. We have changed the Y by an I. Then we have added ES at the end of the plural. Okay, so the correct answer is families rather than familiarities or families without um, changing the Y into an I. The same thing applies to the word country. The plural of country is countries, countryside, co counters, or countries. Clearly, we look, this is the last letter is Y. It is preceded by an R. So R is a consonant. Sorry, consonant. Okay, so because R is one of the consonants, to make the word plural, we delete Y and add IS. So I E S. So this is uh, going to be the right answer. So that's a mistake. So uh, counters is not really the correct answer for, uh, for uh, the plural of country. It is countries. So countries is the correct answer for a plural of country. So this is a totally different word. The, the singular of this word is counter. So the correct answer for the plural of country is countries. We have changed the Y into an I, then we have added ES, so the plural is countries. Okay, moving to the second question, the plural of child. Now this word is a little bit uh, different in plural, so it is not by adding an S to the end of uh, the word, it is not childs, it is not kids, it's children. So the, it's an exceptional way of making plural for nouns where the word children is uh, basically pluralized by adding, for example, R, E, N at the end of the word. So the word children is our correct answer, the word countries is our correct answer, and the word families is our correct answer. <coughs> okay. 
Now moving to the following part of the passage where we need to explain some of the difficult words or the, to give the meaning of some of the new uh, vocabulary that we have in the passage starting with the phrase getting smaller, becoming a little bit smaller or uh, the, the size is becoming smaller or not really uh, big enough. <coughs> getting smaller, becoming smaller. So get is basically can be explained by the verb become getting smaller becoming smaller what about the adverb almo, almost that we have seen in the sentence we can basically give a simplified meaning for the word almost by saying that it means nearly not quite it is just about if you say something like I almost finished my homework which means I have not finished it completely yet but I nearly finished it or uh, it is not quite finished uh, or basically I am just about to finish it so basically almost means nearly uh, approximately if you like not a quiet just about I am about to finish uh, something or to uh, do something the verb change means when something changed from one state into another or from one place into another or one situation into another to change means to become altered or to be modified so it is not basically the same you have changed or you have basically changed something or you have altered something or you have modified something you make it lo looks uh, different from what it was before all over the world we had the expression all over the world which means in every part of the world or if you like everywhere next Extended families. Extended families are very big families that contain probably the father, the mother, the, grand, the grandparents, and the grandchildren, and the grandmother. So we have an extended family. Uh, an explanation for this is a family group which consists of parents, children, and other relatives living together or close in contact. A grandparent is a parent of your father or mother so grandparent is basically the father of your father so if you have if basically if your father's father is still alive you call it my grand uh, father if it is the uh, mother of your mother you call her uh, grandmother together both of them basically are referred to as a grandparent the grandparent which are the parents of your father or the parents of your mother the aunt could be the sister of your father or also it could be the sister of your mother. So in English the word aunt is very much similar to uh, amma or khala in Arabic. So both contexts will allow using aunt whether we are dealing with the sister of your father or the sister of your mother. So it is the sister of someone's father or mother. Now moving on, the word uncle again, usually the uncle is the, either the brother of your father or the brother of your mother so the brother of one's mother or the brother of one's father as you can see okay moving uh, to the uh, next uh, word cousin cousin ibn al-am or ibn al-khal or bint al-am or bint al-khal so clearly uh, we can say it's the child a child of one's aunt or uncle so this is basically uh, could be either a male or female which can be the uh, the uh, son of your uncle or the son of your uh, aunt so depending on whether this is uh, the, the son of your uncle or the son of your uh, aunt or even the daughter of your uncle or the daughter of your aunt and that's why we said the word child because it can basically mean a male or a female okay we still have the word generation and a generation is uh, can be explained uh, by the fact that it is it refers to uh, a people the number of people who are born and who are basically living about the same time and considered as a group so basically my generation your generation father's generation grandparent generation so those are a group of people who have basically uh, come to life in about the same time in about the same uh, age and they are lived in the same uh, kind of uh, time and lived about the same time so basically they consisted a group they consist a group of people they can be called the generation the generation of this time the generation of an earlier time and so on and so forth 
The word average, came, we came across this word when we dealt with the Mexican, the Mexican woman. We said the average Mexican uh, woman. So uh, the word average here means a number that is calculated by adding quantities together and then dividing the total by the number of a quantity. So this word can also be used in mathematics when you say the average number of uh, these groups. So basically when you have this number, you calculate it by adding the quantities together, then you divide uh, these quantities, uh, uh, you divide the total by the number of quantities. This is what we call in Arabic mutawasat al-hisabi. So basically, you have a number of items, you calculate those numbers, then you divide them on the number of those uh, items, as we have said. Okay, moving to the word clothing. Uh, clothing means the things that people wear to cover their bodies, usually clothes could be shirt, could be trousers, could be uh, any type of dress or robe or stuff, whatever kind of uh, dress that you have can be basically called uh, a clothing and so on and so forth. Housing or accommodation, uh, it refers to a place where you live or what we call a dwelling or base, a place where you stay and so on and so forth. Nuclear family. A nuclear family is very much different from extended family. A nuclear family is a family unit that is consisting of a child or children living with two parents who are married to each other, especially when all live under the same roof. So we are talking about a very idyllic or basically typical kind of uh, family where we have the father, the mother, and with their children living under one roof or living in one uh, house. Uh, so basically they are the nuclear family, the nuclear family in the sense that uh, they, they have, they basically the children live uh, in the same uh, house or flat in which their parents uh, are living in. Okay, so uh, as far as <coughs> the word uh, parent is concerned, parent is either the father or the mother. Uh, which we have already come across. Now let's move to something a little bit different which uh, where we de need to uh, look at some of the uh, antonyms or the opposites that we can find in this passage so that we can understand this passage uh, more. So the word true, we have already come across something like this, a true, uh, the, the opposite of true is the word false. Again, the opposite of the word rich is poor and the opposite of something that is small is big, while the opposite of past could be the present if we are dealing with Mahdi Hadar, it could be also the future if we can deal with it in different sense. Okay, so the word north uh, and basically the opposite is south, north was Shamal, while south Janub, east and west, east Sharq, west Gharb, Married, somebody that is married, mutazawwij, uh, or could be unmarried, غير mutazawwij. We could also say single or azab, uh, whatever, but uh, this is what we usually find as an opposite or antony for the word married. Difficult, that's an easy one. Difficult, the opposite of difficult is easy. And we move to the following section where we have to look at some words and try to derive another word from those words. So starting with derivations uh, of nouns into adjectives, the word family, uh, which is a noun, can become an adjective by <coughs> adding uh, I-A-L after deleting the Y. So family, familial. So family, usra, familiar, usrawi, or aili, if you like, in a way. So adjectives. <coughs> Next, truth. Truthful. Africa, the adjective is African, while America, again, similarly, am American, Japan, Japanese, Asia, and Asian, Europe, European, tradition, traditional, and Mexico, Mexican. Child, childish is the adjective, uh, in the sense of this is a childish behavior, Tasarruf Sobiani in a sense, so childish means something that is um, typical of children and, and so on and so forth. Need, 
we could also say needful or needless. Uh, those words are also opposite of one another, needful and needless. Okay, uh, we can also, from the word parents, we can derive parental, which is the adjective. From problem, we could have something that is problematic, uh, which is also the adjective. Tradition, traditional, we also had this word before, traditional. Generation, we can say generative, but the meaning here is a little bit different. Generation refers to a group of people, while generative is when uh, there's something that generate that basically uh, keeps giving uh, more than one time, or basically continue giving, and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is basically everything about this lecture. We have uh, went through this uh, easy passage, which is about families uh, change and how big family change into a, a smaller family, and basically how the world families are changing. We have gone through some uh, typical question. We have seen how uh, one word can be replacing uh, one word can be replacing a full noun or when a pronoun refers back to a noun in the sentence, where the word one refer back to another expression in the sentence. And we have gone through the difficult words. We have gone through the some of, some of the derivation. And uh, basically, this is the end of our lecture number 11. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.